Well, when it's really mattered and we get to the business end of the season where we are right now, we've finally decided to actually hit some decent form and everyone else around us is starting to fall off a little bit and, well, I'll show you what's happened. Hello and welcome back to the Real Day Out. Today we have got two games for you, Leganes and Merida, both in their Segunda Division as things start to hot up. And I think you can already sort of see, if you look at the screen, what has been going on. There's some wins up there, Lozano's on 29 goals now and we're top of the table. So let's have a look and see what happened since you were last here when we played uh, Cadiz and Alaves. Obviously, we lost to Cadiz and then drew with Alaves. But since then, we've moved to the, the diamond formation. Obviously, we go for diamond midfield rather than a triangle on top. So it's diamonds over triangle is what we've worked out, basically. But uh, as you can see here, Granada, a 3-1 victory there. Puko, Lozano and De Thomas getting the goals there. Uh, they scored early on, but we, caught, we scored a few more in the second half, which is pretty good. Very frustrating game against Osasuna. It was a one-all draw. However, we had five clear-cut chances in that game. Their goalkeeper, absolute man of the match. Don't know how he kept them all out. We should have won that by so many goals. But uh, five clear-cut chances. Only the one goal for Lozano in the third minute. We did step things up, though, in the next two games against Valladolid and Leonessa. We did leave things a little bit late against Valladolid. Uh, Lozano with a hat-trick. Uh, however, he scored the third goal in the 89th minute. And Rada Thomas sealed things off with the 91st minute winner. To uh, we'll make, not winner, but to make it 4-2. But we really decided to turn things on against Leonessa. Braces from Sunset uh, to Thomas and a goal from Lozano was enough. Well, I say enough. It was more than enough to see Leonessa off in a 5-1 victory, which is pretty nice. So, what that means, as things stand, we are top of the table by a point with Granada actually moving to second. Legana has been in really poor form in the past few games, uh, dropping down into third. Uh, Lugo down there as well. Alaves into fifth. So, all of a sudden... We are in the driving seat in this division, and a win today against Leganes, who are in poor form, could extend that. And then, of course, uh, we've got Marida, who are down 21st, joint bottom, basically. So it's looking good for us. So as I say, we've moved to the diamond rather than the, the triangle. Obviously, I'm going to call this the triangle. We've got two triangles, basically, but moving to the diamond. So diamonds over triangles. Juan Carlos, find a bit of form recently. He's not actually not conceded too many. He's not kept clean sheets, but uh, he's not conceded as much as he used to, which is nice. Barella, Subias, Hernandez and Johansson start as that back line. Uh, Carvalho starts as a ball in your field today, but Jordan Williams is back from injury now. He's just got back from his dislocated shoulders. So he's going to start on the bench today. You may see him later on. Sunset and Guevara start just ahead of Carvalho in the field with Diara, Lozano and De Thomas making like an attacking trio up there. They're a, a trio of they're the Holy Trinity, but... Not quite as good as the one we had at Lincoln with the father, the son and the, the holy Polish man. Right, kickoff is upon us here today. We are at home. We're in our home kit. We've kicked it off and we're looking for a big win today against Leganes, who are playing a pretty defensive formation if you look at this. The one striker and then two defence midfielders, two midfielders and the rest from defence, which, I mean, that is very defensive. Now, they, they've really slipped up, actually, in, in a few recent weeks. So, we've obviously taken advantage of that. They were a long way ahead of us at one point. So, I've got to say, they've really slipped up. Hopefully, today, we can uh, we can jump on top of that as well. Make them slip up once again against us. As you can see from the stats, we are starting to uh, take take hold of this game. However, Leganos do have a free kick on the edge of the area. And it's Sanchez. Uh, he's at what? Right, who is this goalkeeper and what has he done with Juan Carlos Sanchez? Because he just made two absolute incredible saves there to keep us in this game. That is not the usual Juan Carlos. I'm not complaining though, because that was that was incredible. I'm not complaining. So things stay nil-nil right now, which is, which is pretty good, obviously, thanks to Juan Carlos. Uh, I think in the second half, we can probably push on to get a win there. We do seem to score most of our goals in the second half now. Of course, to be fair, I would take a draw against Leganes. They're a decent side up there. They've been there all season, so they are decent. They just dropped off in the last few weeks. And of course, they could pick up form any time they want again, I'm sure. So a draw today wouldn't be that bad. Quite a big attendance here today, actually. 25,031 from Leganes. I mean, it's just weird how there's like no away fans. I always think that's really weird. Again, though, Leganes with another chance from a free kick. This time, though, it does go in the back of the net and they go back top of the table as things stand. They've got better goal difference than us, like, like everyone has, basically. Not what we wanted, though. That's not the kind of football that we have been playing recently. So we're going to go more attacking, a bit more fluid as well. And I feel like I want to bring Garoletta on for Diara as well. I don't think he's been doing too much there. I think when we get to 70 minutes, 
if nothing happens, uh, they, well, they're not improving. So I reckon Jeremy is... Oh, God. Jeremy is coming on the pitch. I know he's not the best, really, but the other two guys haven't really done much out there. And Jeremy, we do know, scores some big goals for the big occasions. So we're going to go push forward for these final 20 minutes of the game or so. Hopefully that'll make a change. We've had enough shots to get back in this game, I've got to say. Our, our issue is shots on target. We don't seem to get many of those, which is a bit of an issue. Although that is a lovely ball into the area, right into the danger zone. And uh, I thought he was about to go and get it again. Was it uh, Johansson or I can't which one it was now on the left-hand side of the pitch? Can't have been Johansson because he's on the right-hand pitch. And there he is. Johansson puts it in. Jeremy, what did I say? He's there for the big goals. Jeremy equalises things for us. And it is one all once again. We're back on top of the table. Although Granada haven't yet played. Lugo have played. Uh, but Granada yet to play. They must be later on tonight or something like that. Right, again, final five minutes or so. Push forward please boys I believe we can do this we've scored a lot of late goals recently there's five minutes of added time we can do is go on to overload quickly quickly boys the, as the clock ticks down the Thomas is the man for it with his free kick I mean it's hit the wall so it wasn't the best it wasn't the Ronaldo against Spain free kick although Guevara's ball into the area was inviting just too close to the goalkeeper and I think after this goal kick and it's going to be headed around a little bit that is probably going to be it. And like I said, a draw isn't the worst result. I'd be happy with a draw against Leganas today. Although, so, oh, they nearly went and scored a goal there. Full time here at Oviedo. one all. It's it's not the worst result. But when you look at the stats, we really should have taken this game and won it. Well, that's now six games in a row unbeaten, which is pretty good. But at the same time, I think we have missed a chance to win that game. We had enough chances to do it. Granada taking on Huesca right about now, actually. So, watch that result come through. Granada may go top of the table uh, however, Huesca could, could could win the game. Have they won the game? No, they lost it 2-1. So, Granada go top of the table by a point right now. But we dropped down to second. Still two points clear of Lugo. And we have got Marida left to play later on. So, it's, I think we're all looking good still for automatic places at the end of this episode. Now, I keep saying to myself, I keep saying to you guys, like, we're maybe not good enough to get promoted yet. We're not going to do that well if we get promoted, things like that. However, I think I'm coming around now. If we get promoted, we might be good enough. We might just be good enough to stay up and maybe not, maybe avoid a battle for relegation. This is my, my reasoning, actually. I, it's just come up, actually, but this is my reasoning. Lozano, four, four appearances, five goals. He's actually, he's done bits this season, I've got to say. Uh, 25 goals in the league, 29 overall. He's a top goal scorer in the league. Rauder Thomas is closing in on 20 goals this season in the league as well. We have got such good strikers. And I've got to say, if we look at the league table... Uh, if I mean, goals scored, if we look at goals scored, we have we have scored the most 60. Yet. I mean, we've conceded the most as well. I mean, we actually have conceded the most now, 54. That is, I oh know Huesca there, 57. That's all right. We have conceded the second most in 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 the Spanish second division, which again is not good. But if we sort out our defensive problems or park the bus a lot next season and let Lozano and De Thomas get up there, if we get Lozano back permanently or on loan again, then really I I reckon we could be okay. Oh, Sunset, he's edging on three and a half star current ability now. What a signing he was. 19 years old still, three and a half star current ability. That five star potential, it's, it's looking good. I mean, as a deep line playmaker, the only the two goals and one assist isn't looking fantastic, I've got to say. Like, I, I expect more from a playmaker. But again, he's the one more we're starting off the moves, not sort of being the final linkage. So I suppose we can't be too cross. His pass completion ratio is pretty good, actually, I've got to say. So maybe he's a pretty good passer. Right, so we're here for the game against Merida. Um, what I'm going to do is going to push Carvalho up to that box to box midfield. That's what he was before. Uh, Guevara is going to come off of this game. And I want to give Jordan Williams a run. He's been out for three months with a dislocated shoulder. But I think, I think it's time. It's time to give him a go. Other than that, I, I don't think we need to make any changes, particularly. I think that is perhaps as good as a team will be getting this season. There's a case to play Aaron there instead of Diara, but of course he's he's injured still for a little bit, so that's annoying. But I think this probably is the best starting eleven we can get this season. So we're going to submit that team. Jordan Williams is lacking match sharpness, we know that, but he's going to do great. You're both sides play in very, very narrow systems. Perhaps we should, we should have gone for the wingers or something like that, or wing backs. I don't know. But, you know, both very narrow systems, weirdly. Right, kickoff is upon us today, and I am looking forward to this one. Marida... 
they're down there. We should be scoring for fun against a team like this. So, I mean, hopefully we can do the job. Carvalho puts it in. Subius heads it in the back of a net already after just two minutes. It goes down as an own goal, but Subius was the man who headed the ball down in the first place. So already, one the look. Pretty good going. Corner for us now. Varela puts it in. And on his return to the side, Williams puts it in the back of the net. After, yeah, it says down there. He's been off for a long injury layoff. And now he's back scoring the goals, doing the business. Two highlights, two goals. It's what I love. Chance now for Marido. Although Sunset makes a decent tackle there. Hugo Diaz now trying to come forward for them. But uh, I can't see him doing much as we win the ball back. Diara, absolute workhorse there, getting the ball back. And Johansson can come down this right-hand side of the pitch now. Makes his way further and further down. Puts the ball into the middle. Lozano's there. Saved on the line. But it is going to be a penalty. Now, I forgot to click change again. Rowland Thomas has taken it. He's missed his last two. Will he make up for it now by scoring this one? He does. He finally does. He gets a goal. It's 3-0 already. His 20th goal of the season. Fantastically. That's two strikers now. 20 goals. Uh, in fact, to be fair, uh, we did see Lozano nearly on 30 now. So he's doing pretty well for himself as well. 50 goals between them is pretty good going. The goal scoring out, De Thomas on the ball, trying to come forward down the right-hand side. Plays it back to Johannesson for a bit of support. And Sunset now trying to bring it a bit more central. Although he makes a great ball down to Johannesson. He can put another great cross into Thomas. Hits the post. Could have been his second of the game and our fourth of the game. This is much more like the Oviedo that I've been seeing in between episodes. Last game, I think we're just a bit unlucky really not to score more goals or more have ch more chances, close chances. Today we are doing the absolute business as it's 27 minutes in and we're already through the up could be 4-0 now as Johansson puts it in cleared only as far as Williams though he's already got a goal to his name today he puts it out towards Varela he puts it back into Lozano Ramos with a decent save though now Granada haven't played there I mean I don't know why I'm looking because obviously not playing now so it won't show me there will it but uh, Granada could go back above us later on if they win their game at some point across this weekend like all Spanish teams basically play games at different times I don't like it personally I prefer the English system where everyone's just at three o'clock. Bam, it's there. Johansson, though, with the cross. De Thomas puts it just wide. We're knocking on the door so much this game. Well, I've got to say, a pretty pretty convincing first half that hopefully we can grab a few more goals in the second half. Again, we still need to up our, our goal difference. We're up to 17 now, but that's still behind Granada, Lugo uh, and Leganes. It's still behind some of these sides that we need to catch up with, really, if we want to have... It gives us an extra point, basically. That's the way I see goal difference. If we have a better goal difference, it's almost like an extra point. Interestingly, despite being 3-0 up, our, our front three, all not playing particularly well, have an average game so far. So we may bring on Jeremy again for Lozano, because Lozano just decided not to turn on these past two games, which is a little bit weird. He's been absolutely incredible recently. Hugo Diaz with a great shot there for Morita, looking to uh, try and score a few goals. Well, the second half hasn't been as good. We've got a highlight just now. I'm going to bring Jeremy on for Lozano quickly, though. Uh, I think that might be something to do as... Uh, well, we've, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to... He's just got... He's Lozano who scores the goal as well. We'll, we'll take him off anyway. Uh, it will help his 90-minute ratio per goal thing. Let's watch a highlight, though. Uh, Johannesson puts it into Sunset. Sunset Diara into Lozano. Lozano, the keeper got a hand to it, I think, actually. But it went in the back of the net still. He's going to come off the pitch now and uh, Jeremy's going to come on. Hopefully he can grab another goal to uh, help him out a little bit this season. Johansson also looking tired. So we're going to bring Katungo on as well. He's played very well, Johansson. In fact, this whole season he's played very well, actually. He's been a real star player for us. A key man. Unsung hero, I've got to say, Johansson. By looks of things, though, that is going to be all the action. As Varela tries to put one last cross in the area. It's cleared away, but only as far as Katungo. Katungo, what's he going to do with it? Out to Carballo. Into Jeremy. Oh, with Jeremy just got a better connection there. He might have gone and scored a goal. Sunset puts it wide. And that is surely going to be that. It is 4-0 on the night, which is a wonderful scoreline, I've got to say. I'm happy with that. Uh, Carmody, well done, lads. That was a good victory for us. And as things stand, we go back on top of the table until Granada play. When did Granada play? They must play later on today or oh, maybe tomorrow. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go through to tomorrow. We'll see what Granada do and then we'll end the episode. Oh, no way. Tenerife have done an absolutely huge favour by beating Granada 3-0. We're top of the table by two points. There's five games left. As long as we don't mess things up. Like, who have we got left this season? Huesca, 17th. Tenerife, 19th. Numantia, 13th. Seville be 8th. Lorca, 16th. Like, these are all winnable games. I know Tenerife just absolutely battered Granada 3-0 and they're 19th. But these are all winnable games. All winnable games. 
we could be champions. Right, next episode then could be the last one of the, the season unless we actually mess things up completely and have to do playoffs. But Seville B and Lorca are going to be next episode. So make sure you join me then for what could be the greatest episode in Oviedo history ever. <laughs>